Sorry about the audio desync last episode. I'll fix it and put it back up when I have time. Necromancer is a fantastic card. I used to fear him because Zombie Mason and Zombie Apprentice look awful and Zombie Spy is, like, worthless. But in games with Necromancer, they're actually fantastic. You can trash an action for immense, be for immense benefit, and you get to play it anyways with Necromancer. I definitely should have bought more Necromancers. Alright, we've got another game. Let's do this. Three, two, one, go. Oh my gosh, that is Donates, the most busted warped card in the entire Dominion game. Woohoo! Donate! Okay, Donate lets you get rid of all the crap in your deck. Literally all of it, instantly. Battlefields, cool, that's nice, that encourages early greening. So the best strategy on this board is absolutely going to be uh, Donate, because it's, it's Donate. And I'm thinking... There's any plus actions. There is not. So it looks like getting some spices. Some... Alright, you know what I'm going to do? I like, whenever you donate, you need to make sure that you don't trash too many of your good cards because then you won't have enough money to pay off the donate. But you want to trash as much as you can because it's trashing. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to get a skulk for the gold. And then I can buy a donate on this turn, trashing the skulk. Or maybe I'll keep the skulk around. No, I'm going to trash him. Trashing the skulk and all the other bad cards we just got. So I'll basically just open gold donate, which is really good. It's really good. Then I can uh, probably go do something along the lines of cobbler would be good, but there's no good uh, less than there's no really good four coin cards here that are really insane. I mean, it gains your hand, but it would it wouldn't gain Skulk's gold to your hand. So, you know, all right, I'll get donate, pay off the other debt, and then I can trash this this. Uh, I kind of want to keep Skulk around because I can keep attacking him. I guess I do need one terminal, and there are better terminals. So my deck's going to be so explosive, I won't really have a chance to use them. Then I can trash... Uh, I don't really want to trash all six. So I could trash this, then they'll leave me with two, then they'll leave me with five coin. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Boom. And then I can Skulk, give him a Hex, have still have five coin, pay off all the debt, and then next turn I'll have five coin for a Spices, then for a Lad, then a Spices, and just, just explode with awesomeness. That is what I will do. And my foe is deluded. Woohoo. Delusion is fantastic for me. And I even have some built-in plus buy into this engine. And then again, Spices does give a plus buy. So Pouch's plus buy is going to be slightly less relevant. Mm. But what can I do? All right. My foe just Rangered. And I, I like Ranger. I like Journey token cards in general. They're fun. All right. So I'm going to just do a basic lab to draw all the awesome cards, spices for consistency, and silver and gold d engine, because it's awesome. Then I can skulk him again. I'm going to skulk it every turn. That's going to that's gonna slightly hurt him. Hexes are slightly painful, and so it's going to deal some slight damage. And since five coin can't buy gold, I'll take a spices. Those coin tokens will give me a little more consistency. Very nice. Uh, then I'll get a gold... And then I'll probably get a lab or two. And then I can, if I get enough monies, I can actually afford a double lab turn, which will be explosively awesome. Then I can get, you know, double spices, double gold, and then just win. And that is what I plan to do. Ooh, now he's envious. That's also good for me. With my money, I'll get a gold. My goal is to get a double lab turn. I've got three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten going. Perfect. Here's my double lab turn. Remember, I should get a lab and a spices. No, I, like, I think I've got enough coin tokens. I think I'll get a double lab turn. Then I'll be able to easily, easily, easily draw the deck. Then I can get uh, whatever. It depends on what this last card is. I think I think it's a, I think it's a gold. I'm not sure. It could be a, you know, it's probably a gold. I forgot. But regardless, whoa! Oh, he just donated. Cool. So my foe did not donate for a long time, but I don't know how it's gonna work out for him because he has been. Uh, gaining a bunch of estates, which are actually worth three for duchies, because Battlefield. But I I was going to say, clogging his deck with those estates is going to be bad. But now that he's donating them, he never has to worry about them again. So that actually could have been a really good combo. Donate plus Battlefield. So now I've got a 15 victory point lead to come back from. Oh, wait, no, never mind. He, uh, so he just, now he's down to eight. Now I'm good. Never mind. <laughs> All right, I've got a double laboratory turn. Very good. Oh, well, that's card's a skull. Cause that's what it was. I forgot. All right, but I'll still be able to lab through everything, play the Skulk. I'll have 10 coin. I'm thinking a lab and a Spices would be smart. That'll put me at 12 for a double gold turn and enough labs to draw it all. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll lab, lab, then I can Skulk, making him discard down to three. 
then I, with my 10 coin, I can get lab and spices. I'll still be able to draw everything because of that extra lab. And then I'll have 12 coin because spices. And then I'll be able to get a double gold turn. So this is looking quite good. And with those coin tokens, I'll be able to keep up just that little bit of consistency I need, which is going to be perfect. Then my deck's going to be so fast. Like, he just donated. All he's got on me is eight victory points. And, uh, and if I get five provinces and he only gets three, that's going to be 12 victory points he has to overcome, which he probably won't. Oh man. Forget drawing my whole deck. Oh, well. I've still got lots of money. Still got 11 coin. I can still make that 12 and then get a double gold turn. Now, I'm going to need to get a few more labs after that, but uh, I'm still I'm still really good. This deck is just going to be insanely good. Skulk is not the best single terminal. I, if I had to pick one terminal here, since I'm easily drawing everything with labs, I probably wouldn't want Ranger. I'd probably pick Enchantress for, for those extra cards to get to my labs faster. Or Butcher, which is two coin tokens. Very nice. But I don't get to pick. I'm a little late on that. I guess I could pick pick up one more Donny. I've got the coin to pull that off. Mm. And then after I do that, I can get rid of my Skulk and Coppers and get a better terminal. I will take a gold and a lab, and then I think a donate. Yeah, I can get rid of those bad cards. And actually, then in that case, instead of that lab, I'll want to pick up a butcher probably. But uh, you know, what? I think faster is better. I'm just gonna forget donating, and I will get nothing now. All right. Yeah, I, I love having one terminal, and then I never have terminal collision. And Skulk is a moderately okay attack. He's not giving me anything useful, because I'm already getting plus buy some spices and pouch. But he is going to hit, hit my foe with a hex, which is nice. And it's not worth the effort it would take to trash. I might have to buy a butcher, and then have butcher and skulk in the same hand, or I'd have to buy a donate. It's just not worth the effort. Alright, we've got 12 coin. I think I've had enough double gold turns. I think it's time for me to start province purchasing. And then maybe I can get a second skulk with my 4 coin. I'm not sure. Ooh, I could just coffers. Let's see, I can get 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, I'll just use one coin token. Then I can get a province and a lab, which is nice. Very nice. I forgot about my coin tokens. Can't do that. Do not forget about your coin tokens, folks, because they are very important. All right, my foe is 8 victory points ahead of me right now. And I th but I think my deck is just so much faster than his. He's either going to have to green too hard or wait too long, and I'll just win. So, see, these provinces are going to hurt him a lot more than me because my deck is a lot thicker with awesome gold. And double province turns are actually a possibility for me. So, and I've got the plus buy to actually pull all this awesome stuff off. See that double province turn right there. Now, I'd like to do a double province turn, but I'm going to think twice. Perhaps a triple laboratory turn would be smart. Or maybe two labs and a spices where I can get a gold and two labs. Yeah, that would actually be awesome. I'm gonna, this is going to be my last build-up turn. But this just guarantees I'm going to be able to have awesome turns every turn. The next turn, I'm going to get a double province turn and another double province turn, and then I'll just win. Or maybe a province and triple touchy. I mean, maybe not triple touchy, but maybe a province and double touchy. But yeah, I just win now. My foe's a little too far ahead for comfort, but I should still be able to win. And I don't think his deck is in any shape to get it pull off a double province turn. So lab, lab, lab. Oh, didn't think I'd stop drawing my labs. Oh, well. Love my money, 18 coin. So I could do double provinces. Probably, probably want to save my coffers for when I uh, need to keep up the double provinces. And then I'll end my buys. I can lab lab. Those th of those three cards, a couple of them are labs. I'll be able to do that. I've got 20 victory points now. I can buy those last provinces and win. But if my foe buys it, yeah, he's going to buy it. 33 victory points. All right. So I'm going to get a province. That's six. What do you got? 26, 28, 29, 29, 30, 30, 32. I'll have to get three duchies and a province in one turn. This is it. The final turn. Come on, labs. Will the tactician take the victory? Come on, labs. Did he build up enough? Come on, labs. Will he crack 23 coin? Find out next time on Dominion with the Tactician!